Hello everyone. My name is uh, Vukasin Koprivica. I've been working as a network engineer for the last uh, 10 years in uh, Chicago land area. And uh, in the past uh, two years, I started uh, learning uh, Python uh, with the goal of uh, learning the language itself and uh, to kind of try to uh, follow the network automation path as well as build a few uh, tools here and there that it's going to help me provision and replace my daily repetitive task. Uh, with that being said, uh, I built the F5 uh, configuration tool that uh, it's helping me configure uh, a big IP LTM uh, virtual servers, pools, nodes, uh, monitors, I rules, and uh, profiles. So, um, for the sake of uh, presentation today, I'm uh, going to use uh, the plain uh, virtual uh, F5 device that I uh, downloaded uh, from. F5 websites as a trial version. Uh, device uh, doesn't contain uh, any configuration. Uh, so it's been configured with uh, a username uh, of uh, admin that uh, comes uh, as a default uh, by device and uh, the password is admin uh, however uh, admin account has access uh, to all the partitions uh, and uh, to uh, root as uh, as an administrator so uh, I'm gonna pull up the, the console and uh, show you what's uh, <clears throat> what's possible to do this uh, with this tool uh, for example, I created a source of true file um, that uh, it's basically a YAML file named by the name uh, uh, of the device, uh, the big IP device where we're going to be pushing configuration. Uh, this is the name of the module that we're going to be pushing configuration and uh, we're going to be pushing three I rules, a uh, few monitors. Uh, the monitor type is HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, Gateway, ICMP, uh, and uh, uh, plain ICMP. Few profiles. Uh, uh, then uh, we're going to be pushing uh, two nodes, node 1 and uh, node 2 with uh, the following uh, characteristics, uh, the following, uh, I would say, uh, parameters like uh, the, the IP address, connection, limit information, dynamic ratio. Uh, then um, we're going to be creating two pools. Uh, to those pools, we're going to be applying different uh, monitors. And then uh, we're going to be creating two uh, virtual servers from the uh, virtual server one will uh, have uh, the pool one apply. Uh, also, the different I rules uh, we're going to be applying to those virtual servers. With that being said, I'm going to go to the configuration script, and uh, the configuration script uh, uh, it's going to call uh, the F5. Uh, so, 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 so the tool itself has. Uh, uh, I built some uh, uh, intelligence into the tool. Uh, with uh, re contains the method uh, that and those methods are calling the F5 SDK API 
and push the configuration the way the, that we want it uh, to uh, LTM device. However, uh, the same as uh, provisioning LTM device uh, manually through web GUI, we need to uh, follow the certain rules, uh, bottom-up uh, approach. So, for example, if uh, end goal is to configure virtual servers, then we first conf uh, create the I rules, then monitors, then profiles, then uh, nodes, then pools, and then uh, virtual servers at, at the end. So uh, I'm gonna start the script so you can take a look uh, how quickly you can push all this configuration to the F5 device. So script uh, basically uh, display every uh, step that it does and also uh, in the log folder you'll find uh, the log uh, file that it's named based on the LTM device to where the configuration has been pushed uh, and then contain the date and then if we take a look uh, uh, I configure the tool to uh, log every query and every response from the LTM device in a provisioning process and the uh, uh, reason that I did that is um, if we are about to use this tool uh, later on and um, start the tool from cron job or some uh, in a, some uh, automated fashion uh, we can always go back and uh, and uh, take a look at the logs and see what uh, has been tried to push uh, to the device. So if I take a look at the device itself, um, I'm going to start with the I rules. So I rule has been pushed and this is the configuration of the I rule. Um, the I rule folder of the tool has actual configuration of the iRule. I'm storing them in a JSON file format. So three iRules, uh, then uh, nodes. We have a node and then um, let's say profiles. We have uh, two HTTP profiles. Um, then uh, monitors. So the tool created a few monitors based on the source of true information. And then uh, at the end, uh, the tool uh, configured the virtual servers as well. So there is a uh, one virtual server, which is uh, port 80. Uh, and then uh, this virtual server has uh, one iRule applied to it and then uh, the, the the second virtual server it's a port 443 we apply client uh, ssl profile and uh, uh, server profile as well however uh, this tool uh, has um, uh, because uh, F5 device uh, ha has uh, so many features, this uh, tool, it's not, it's not possible with this tool to configure every configuration of the F5 device. However, I'm using this tool to help me uh, offload and, and, uh, and uh, configure the most of the stuff that I'm uh, uh, using an FI device. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'm gonna post uh, another video how you can access the, the repository, install the tool, and then uh, start using it. This is the location of the repository if you're interested to take a look uh, until I post the 
next uh, videos uh, this is uh, all from me for now thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, uh, stay tuned thank you